What's up, nerdlings? What's up, nerdlings? Would you look at the size of this thing? You've got a big package for me, don't you? Ah, that I do. What can I say? I like big boxes and I cannot lie. Oh, you other nerdlings can't deny. When you got a big box and it's full of little stuff, then you better open it up and got games and maybe some toys. You never know what's in store. Collector or reselling. This box will have you yelling. Do you, nerd? <laughs> This is Tom and Lacey, collecting all the things, searching from here to there, finding comic book tables, house Legos, and action figs, retro gaming, amiibos, and image prints. Watch as they collect them all. Tom and Lacey collecting right now. Yes, we have a big box. Hang on, let me get this off my leg because it's about to crush it. Oh, oh my gosh. That thudded the floor. <sighs> All right, so yes, we have a huge box here, and it is from none other than Kristoff Telesplashinski uh, from Telesplash Gaming. And you think Kristoff is, or Chris is short for Kristoff? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, I am the Mega Man. Telesplash Gaming was sending the old Retro Refresh a couple of video messages of a house that he had purchased in which all of the stuff had been left behind. Hoarder house, hoarder house, hoarder yeah, house. Yeah, a little bit. You know, in our house, we have a very easy way to define things. See, it's not hoarding if it has a place to go. As long Organized as it has a place collecting. to live, it's collecting, exactly. If it doesn't have a place, then it's hoarding. So, first of all, Let's take a look at Chris's somewhat horrifying journey into this place. Guys, it stinks. Here we go. All right, guys, here's this house I was talking about. Matt and I just bought this house. This is what we do. We buy these junker houses, and every once in a while you get something cool out of it. What year is this thing, you think? Disgusting. I say that a lot because it is. What's over there? I'm scared to go back there. That's where right. On the ground now. Now we're gonna go to the basement. No idea what's down there, so I'll keep you guys posted. Got a laptop over there. Got a nudie magazine, Tom will like that. Got a big projector TV over there. Bicycle, foosball table. Old cell phone. It's dark, I'm scared of the dark. All right, we came into a room. This is where it's gonna happen, guys, holy crap. Disgusting. It's all disgusting. This house is haunted. Look at it. It's crackling. Listen. LG donuts. You f***ing serious? I just spilt that beer all over my foot. Are you kidding? That is disgusting. My personal favorite, Michael Myers. I see a lot of myself in him. He's missing his knife, though. Some of the cases are worth money. Oh. 
Ocarina of Time 3D. Come on, you son of a bitch. So all these cases and manuals. We're gonna find some. Pokemon Y, Pokemon Omega Ruby, Paper Mario. I gotta find the games. They gotta be in a case somewhere. Michael, look at that dude. Predator. Complete in box Leatherface. Complete in box Spawn Guy. Hannibal. Hannibal. Uh, the v for Vendetta. Oh, v for guy. Vendetta. We also have some Edward Scissorhands. I'm sure Lacey's liking this. Pizza boxes, beer cans. Now this is what I call a game room, boys. This is disgusting. I don't know. Fable three. Oh, shit. that could be something. Joe Montana Dude, in the box. Look at that. There's two of oh, them. Oh, Jerry Rice. We gotta Google that. Notice that this little joystick right there is messed up. But, Gravy Tom, you can have it. Do I'm gonna send it your way. If you wanna open it up and see if you can fix that, that's the only thing I honestly see wrong with it. If nothing else, it's a cool collector's piece. So, 264 loose on eBay right now. I'd say it's still a pretty good find. Street Cleaner, the video game, an action platformer. What the hell is this for? Compact Disc 2020? Is this like a limited run thing? Freaking gross. Got a closed circuit TV apparently. This is disgusting. I was hungry, but now I'm not. All right, well, we have a very, very large box of things to go through. We know a couple of things that are to be in there, mm -hmm. but I think he obviously snuck some other stuff in. So we're gonna see what Chris sent us. So we're gonna do things a little differently now. We're gonna pull everything out of the box and then we'll comment on any of the stuff that really tickles our fancies. <laughs> That's heavy. There's that word again. Oh, oh my, oh my. Oh, he's big. Oh, oh. Yeah, <laughs> Freddy. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah. Oh. Look at the hair. Oh, she's cool. <laughs> yeah, he had this box packed full yeah, of did. stuff. And I mean, he like totally hooked both of us up because I've got games. I've You've got, got toys. so many toys. Oh, I'm getting the vapors. Yeah. Now, these are farm fresh. A little bit. Uh, so, yeah, there's going to be a lot of cleaning. Which, I mean, we knew that to begin with. We yeah, knew that yeah, was that's, coming. That's fair. And, and so, hey, no problem there. Yeah. Look, the collections that you see behind us, whether it's in this room or her toy room, I mean, most of those did not come full price retail brand new. Yeah. So, we are not strangers to this at all. But there are some awesome, awesome things here. I mean, we've got stuff that's still sealed in their packages. No, 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 no. Like a die cast metal Predator figure. Looks like this is from 1994. Wow. Well, this is cool. There's a Robocop. He doesn't work anymore. He has a button you could push, and I'm thinking he said stuff from the movies. This is really, really neat from 1993. So like right around the time of the movie, and he's still got his accessories on the card and everything. <laughs> So pretty and perfect they look in the box i don't think we have a robocop no before we don't now. <laughs> the funny thing is is like some of these you can tell have been there for a while like this one a spawn character i can't even see what it is very well in there because it's i mean and it's a like a like a dust i have to scrape off with my fingernail Ooh, i don't recognize the character the name is was that malabolgia yeah. maybe but i mean he's a huge figure and this is one of the McFarlane toys which I mean yes. up until NECA came about McFarlane was like yeah. the go-to toy for quality toys. Another toy that's really really hard to see like I oh, literally man. had to scrape the front of it to see what it was was the cremator I've never heard of that. Yeah what is that it's from Chaos Comics but you know I was it, an X-Man and Marvel brat growing up so I'm not I mean, overly familiar. I do have Lady Death one thing that I am super excited to see and I'm probably thinking my favorite thing that we got I have wanted this toy for a really long freaking time 
but she was always way out of my price range so to find her is so cool i don't know if she's missing any accessories but i'm i don't really care she's really neat the fact that her wings are still attached yes to her and they're not, not ripped or anything is really neat. she's got kind of an egyptian motif going on here when you use something to clean these with the plastic is there anything in particular you like to do i just use like a clorox wipe okay because they're usually pretty non-abrasive and they're designed to clean things in the kitchen which is kind of you know, you don't want it to dissolve something. What about whenever it's a loose figure like this? Because, I mean, you have to think of all the little detail bits to try to get around. But I would also be very worried about scuffing it, scraping away any paint. Something like with that, aside from Clorox, I like to use Dawn because it's gentle yet tough. That's what they use to clean the animals who get messed up in uh, oil spills and everything like that. So I thought that would be a good thing not to take the paint off. I use a toothbrush, um, soft bristles toothbrush, and just kind of that way you can get in the crevices and the cracks, and then just a water bowl to get the excess soap off. Apparently there is blue on her necklace that I didn't notice before because she was filthy, and she actually has some really cool like eyebrow eye makeup going on there. Chris sent us a picture. Now, Chris is very knowledgeable of collectible stuff when it comes to games and everything, and he has a good eye for things. He sent us a couple of pictures of some figures that he knew might be worth some money. Leatherface here is one of them, and I believe Hannibal Lecter yeah. is too. And because these guys are pricey, now Lady Lacey has to make the very difficult decision of, do you do what you always do and tear into your toys? Yeah. Or do you maybe keep these guys sealed just in case a rainy day comes along and we need a new umbrella? Yeah. I want you to think about what you're doing feel the heft of that guy oh the clown yeah was that the character that um john leguizamo played it in the is, movie okay yeah. this guy is full plastic i mean he's probably worth his weight in plastic yep. do you remember spawn of course oh yeah, back yeah. In the day. yeah there there it is oh. right there <laughs> it, there was no ventilation back then, so I was like sweating all day long, oh, yeah. losing my mind. But they paid me good, and I did yeah, a right. good job. Yeah. <laughs> we got a V for Vendetta guy. He's kind of cool. Oh, well, looks like uh, he's got lots of accessories in there too. So that's very neat. And this guy has the price tag on him. So depending on where his yeah. value stands, that price tag might be worth keeping on there just for historical reasons. Don't worry, babies. I won't let the bad men get you. So then we got one more giant figure. This was the one I was super excited when I saw it in the polo. But we have a giant Venom here. And he is all plastic. Huge, big, thick Marvel Legends Venom. Okay, whoa. Ah. I wanted to make sure you're still talking about the toy. 30 points of articulation. Uh, you've got like little Spider-Man that have that much. Yeah. Oh, it also comes with a special book of evolution of, I of the icon, so that's cool. That one is going to be really hard not to leave in the box. I don't want to play with him. Please, Lacey. I'll do anything. By the way, to help us get through this, we cracked open the Sprite here, a pale ale from Drinking Games with Josh, because this is dirty work, so we're going to need some refreshment. So that's a very solid pale ale. I don't think you're going to like this because it's very beery. You like something with a little less <laughs> bitter beer face. Oh man. I I think what made that worse is because they call it Sprite. The can looks just like Sprite. <laughs> so my brain is telling me, oh, this is gonna be a nice crisp sour beer. Actually, it, it is kind was of weird not. because the brewery fire beers that he sent us, there were some excellent sours. So the there fact some, that they would yeah. not make one based on Sprite, that's interesting. Yeah. But I mean, if you want a pale ale, you know, you can't go wrong with this one. You can go very wrong <laughs> with pale ale. So like I said, <laughs> he, uh, he sent a ton of games here. Now, I like how on this Heroes of the Pacific, we've got some codes on a little post-it pad right in front. So that's kind of funny. Yeah. Always like to find codes. And then some more. Xbox Love here, Drag Racing 2004. We've got a Demon Soul art book and soundtrack CD. Oh, that's the cool. CD it's got the soundtrack in there. in there. 
Uh, I know a lot of people that are big fans of the Souls game. I have not sat down and played any of them. But seeing some of this horrifying artwork oh, in here geez. definitely gives you an idea of what you're up against. Death. Lots of death. That's what you're up against. <laughs> I bet that music's going to be fantastic, too. Panzer General on the old PS1. One of those classic dual disc cases mm -hmm. for a single disc game, which is probably, well, actually the manual's not yeah. all that thick. I, I don't know why they did that. Disc looks fine other than some dust on there, but no scratches or scuffing. Nice. 3DS, Zelda, Majora's Mask. Is it in there? It is not <laughs> What's in, in there? there because Shin Megami Tensei 4 is in here. Well, interesting. Well, I wonder what happened to that Majora's Mask game. I don't know, but I mean, from the polos, you could see that there were just things thrown everywhere, even games. So, you yeah, know. there's a fair chance with any of the handheld stuff that this uh, this person may have had. It might have been like in a collection, not like a CD wallet, but something else. Yeah. There. Duke Nukem Advance. <laughs> it's time to kill on the go. Oh, cheery. I wish you'd been there to answer your phone. The name's Nukem. Duke Nukem. Speaking of on the go. He packed in a Nintendo DS. Wow, that's one, that's one of the original ones. It is. It's had some love to the front yes, of it. Yes, this has been well loved, well played. It's even got a nice little. You grip probably would have been there. able to play it better with one of those grips. <laughs> probably. Is there a game in it? There is a game in the top, so not in the GBA slot, but in the DS slot. We have Pokemon Pearl. Holy cow! Yeah, Pokemon Pearl. We're gonna owe Chris some beers. All right. All right, moment of truth. Oh, of course. It's Nintendo. Come on. How does it even have battery life? Who knows when the last time was this thing was even played. And as you said, for it to still have battery life. How's the screen look? Honestly... It looks good. The uh, the touch screen is a little streaky, but I mean, some additional cleaning of, of that. Because the front of it's got some scratches on it. So, Ben, was that 142 hours, maybe? Eight badges? 145 in the Pokedex? I don't know what any of that means. I don't Pokemon. Now, something that Sega Head would probably love is this incredible stack wow. of Atari games. Look at those. Atari. I love Atari 2600. Simple graphics, non-existent music, a controller that's pure rubbish. Delightful. He thinks he wasn't paying attention to his collection when he bought things because so far there's four Pac-Man. Pac-Man. Look at all these Pac-Man. And in all in various conditions, no less. Yeah, well, we also have four Donkey Kongs. Also in various conditions. That is hilarious. <laughs> Dude, pay attention. Oh, we got a couple extra missile commands. That's funny. Here's a interesting little Pac-In McDonald's five years pin. Guess he worked needs, at McDonald's for If anyone five needs years. a five-year McDonald's pin, hit us up. This was kind of fun, too, because you do not generally see Odyssey 2 stuff. You love them. I love the handles. Or the handles. We've got some nice box ones here. Looks like uh, the manuals are still in them. By the way, real quick, Casey Munchkin, you want the best Pac-Man game that wasn't Pac-Man? Right here. Even had multi-carts back in the day. So this is great. We actually have a fair little collection of Odyssey 2 games. So we will see what we do not have, what we're missing here. That's some fun cover art. Oh, man. Like this Alien Invaders Plus. Yeah, look at that. Look how wild this is. Is that an octopus with snakes at the end of the tentacle? And a dome for a body with bumper car spaceships being shot at by a... Steel Battalion futuristic control panel. What the hell panel. is going on? They did a lot of drugs back in the I'm early days of so. gaming. Well, here's the question, because I can't tell because my hands are filthy right now. Um, were the games as dirty as the toys? 
I would say not as much as the Maybe toys. these were put away somewhere, whereas the toys were on display. And I think so. I think with the toys being on display, they accumulated a lot more. But yeah, these were probably buried. So maybe like the games on top were really Maybe, filthy. yeah. Well, I have no idea who this is. Which actually, the more I look at it, I think it might be uh, Rose McGowan's character from the Conan the Barbarian movie with Jason Momoa. Possibly. I'm not sure, but she's really cool looking. She's giving me some like StarCraft vibes, but I don't know if that would be the case or not. Possibly. But she's got some actual real chains on her with her weapons with, that's got some hooks in them. Anyway, she's cool. Dirty, but cool. Pig in the sink! That's not the tap. Then we did have a fatality. I don't know if this was before or oh. after. He's missing all but one of his um, nails. And he's kind of broken in the middle. Now, it should be noted, you actually have this exact I Freddy do. figure. And you had the same problem with yeah. his nails. Yes. And you kept yours on a shelf. It I was did. generally very safe. It would only fall over if somebody walked by too hard or whatever. Because his legs don't move. So he's in this weird, awkward pose that's not very stable. I feel like zero thought went into designing that. Uh, maybe they thought you would keep it in the box forever and always. Yeah. You should be ashamed of yourself! But if you took it out of the box, I mean, he was destined to lose those things because it's more of that hard plastic yeah. instead of a nice malleable rubberized plastic, which is a shame. Mm -hmm. And also, yours still has his Mine hat. Mine do still have the hat. He does not. Then we have a Michael Myers figure. Surprisingly enough, we don't have one of these yet. Yeah, I was really shocked about that. Yeah. He's missing his knife, so he's forever just like, You mean kids? You know, Get as, off of my lawn! As old as Michael Myers is, that's <laughs> probably all he's doing. So, uh, I will talk about this I was going to say, I one. will let you talk about that one. Oh my gosh, come on guys. It is the Deadite demon version of Evil Ash. So, his hands look like he had some kind of... Uh, you know, maybe sword or weapon, some kind of accessory. He is in a nice battle pose, so he really doesn't have much articulation. But I love my Evil Dead and my Army of Darkness stuff. Army of Darkness is usually my fallback on my favorite movie of all time. I don't know what my favorite movie is, but hey, Army of Darkness works. And having this guy, oh, this is so awesome. Look how great his it's face It's got some amazing looks. details. Oh, he is so cool. And he's going to go right at home with a whole bunch of ashes. It always cracks me up because when you have a bachelor night, you always order some cashew chicken. I do. And Springfield style cashew Springfield chicken. Springfield style cashew chicken. And then you pop on one of those. Usually, what is it? Number two? No, I, I pop back and forth yeah. between two and Army of Darkness. But, and then you watch it whenever you have your bachelor night. And which, then that always makes me jealous. Because like, that sounds like so much fun. Which, speaking of, I could use another one of those. So. Oh. Okay, fine. <laughs> You're cruising for a bruising. One other figure I'm surprised is not broken is this Edward Scissorhands. Yeah. Which is really... He's actually got a lot of really cool detail about him. The only thing I don't like is his head. It's like, I feel like they went a little too stylized with that hair. <laughs> it was never that bad. But the cool thing, each scissor finger moves individually. Wow. That That's why I'm surprised detail. it's not broken. That is impressive. Hey, check it out. Back when Tim Burton did fun movies, not like, oh, this is a thing that's perfectly suited for you, but you messed it up. It's like when people brand you as a uh, freak of some sort, it allows you to kind of act freakish without people really getting on your case. Then one of the last figures we've got, which is really gross, but I think it's because he's got had real hair maybe, or, you know. I think that is real hair. Yeah. Yeah. But it's, it's, I don't know how I'm going to clean that. That's going to be interesting. But um, we did have a little fatality with the foot, but that's okay. He'll just eat it, I'm he sure. He probably dropped his chainsaw. He dropped his chainsaw. He's like, Bzzzurt. oh, crap. Yeah, we got a big old leather face. <laughs> Thanks, Seth Green. You're welcome. Oh, look at me. Look at me. I'm leather face. It is curious to note that he does have, like, real clothing on, yeah. like, real cloth. But then, like, his arms and everything, for some reason, I think that weirds me out the most because it's, like, what you would find in, like, an art studio mannequin or yeah. something. Yeah. And I don't know. It's it's odd to think that someone took a mannequin and turned it into the leather face. I mean, it's, it's an official leather face, but that's the... 
the idea that it's given me and it's kind of creeping me out. Yeah, I, I'm glad his foot fell off so he doesn't chase me around the house. You know, this is a fantastic segue into the final item of this box. I'm not going to lie. When Chris was showing off this place, when he showed this item, I immediately jumped on there and I was like, hey, hey, uh, what are you guys going to do with all that fantastic stuff in there? Because this was the thing I was most interested in getting. Guys, it is the Resident Evil 4 Chainsaw Controller. Groovy. So this is the Sony one based on the buttons here. As you can see, it does not have the lovely display case that it comes with. And there is one other problem with it. We have a busted joystick right here. So this means we're going to have to try to figure out if that's something that we can fix or not to have a functioning chainsaw controller. <laughs> that is funny. So if we get this fixed, are you going to try to play Resident Evil 4 for me with I, this? I don't know. That's a, that's a curious thing. Let us know in the comments down below, first of all, how cool of a guy is Chris that he hooked us up with all of this stuff. Uh, he told me that he didn't pay for any of it. He said he bought the house, not the stuff inside. So since he didn't pay in for any of it, he sent it on to us. All we're doing is covering the shipping, but we're going to hook Chris up with something down the line <laughs> anyway to say thank you. He loves IPAs. So he does. He loves those <laughs> IPAs. Oh, yeah. I love a good IPA. Like this spiked lemonade right here. But let us know what you think of any of this stuff. You know, about the games, about the toys especially. Because these are some really great, unique toys. Stuff that you don't generally see. And finally, have you played with the Resident Evil Chainsaw Controller. Did you play through Resident Evil 4? How was it using the controller? Do you get that much more immersed into the game? Looking at this, you've got what you expect, the blood splatters, right? But what I actually think is really kind of a neat touch is on both the handles, there's like thumbprints where you would have grabbed it with your blood and then smeared blood right here where your hand would have grabbed it. That is an amazing touch. They certainly went all out with the detail on this. You know, I have to give a huge thank you to Chris for hooking us up with all of this anyway. Especially things like the chainsaw controller yes. that it's one of those iconic novelty things that we always wanted to get in the collection. But, you know, of course, I never really liked the price that we were seeing it at. So we'll have to try to figure out this whole joystick thing. Uh, open to any advice, by the way, because I'm, I'm not the most handy tinkerer of yeah. them all. <laughs> So again, first and foremost, huge, huge, huge thank you to Chris. We're actually going to yes. have a lot of fun cleaning all this stuff up, seeing yeah. how well it cleans up and everything, and checking some of this stuff out in greater detail. Please do us a favor. Go check out Chris's channel. Tell him he's such an awesome dude. He calls himself a troll. He's like the world's yeah. biggest sweetheart. Sorry, Chris. I'm spilling your secrets right here. Leave some comments down below. Give the video a like. Subscribe. Hit that notification bell. You never know what's going to be in the next box. We don't know what's in the next box. Look in the box. Don't you want to know what's in the box? Don't forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Go over to Tee Public because we've got merchandise over there. Hit us up on the Retro Refresh. And if we like it, we nerd it. Vroom, 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 vroom. Greatest line from a Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie, Dennis Hopper. Bring it down! <laughs> Bring it down! Plus, come on. He has a chainsaw sword fight that, with that leather face. Cool. Ow! <laughs> oh. Oh no. Now I'll get my revenge on you, Ash. You and your goody little two shoes. <laughs> goody little two shoes. Goody little two shoes. Give me some sugar, baby. He would hook up with Gladly. her. Gladly. Oh, oh, oh. Him or the Diablo chick. Vinerlings. <laughs> Vinerlings. You ready? Uh-huh.
Hey guys, look at my video. Look at what I found here. I found this really cool thing right here. You can't tell what I'm saying because I put my finger over the microphone. Nice. <laughs> Zip. Bidi doo da. Zip bidi day. You can't watch this movie on streaming. No way. Back to you, Diane. <laughs> do I want to touch my phone? I know. I'm like. Hands? I'm like. Oh god. I gotta get into it. 